Okay. I think we're recording. We are back for math. Today we are going to be doing fall subtraction. Ignore the word fall. I know that it is not fall. It is almost springtime because it's beautiful. Well, it was yesterday. I think today's raining. But here we go. This is subtraction. We've been working a ton on subtraction. When you remember, in a subtraction problem, you take that number, you lay out your cubes, and then you take away that number, put it to the side, and you have to count how many are left. Okay, so we go from a bigger number to a smaller number. I'm going to do an example first on the back. Of course, I don't have my whiteboard, so we're just going to have to make do with what we have. Okay, so we are going to do a simple subtraction problem. 5 minus 2 equals blank. Can you read that for me? What does this say? Say it out loud. Five minus two equals, okay? So what I need you to do, or what you will do, I'm gonna move you down so that you can see this maybe. Oof, not ideal, not ideal. Okay, hang on a second. Okay, so I need to get out five cubes because that's what my equation tells me to do. The first number is five, I get out five. So five minus two, one, two, three, four, five. I need to take away minus two. So I take away two, they're gone. How many do I have left? Three, okay, so five minus two equals three, okay? Five minus two equals three. That's an example. That is how we are doing all of the problems on this front page, okay? So you're going to do each one of these. Take breaks if you need it but I'm gonna go through them with you. So the first problem says what? Two minus one equals, so I put two cubes down, maybe I'll do it on here, two cubes and I have to minus how many? One, take away one, how many are left? How many are still sitting there? One, one is still sitting there, so you put in here one. And then we always read our problem again. Two minus one equals one. Okay, next problem. We have seven minus four equals seven minus four equals. I'm going to turn move this so we're not distracted. So if it's seven minus four, how many cubes do I have to get out of my little tub to put on the table? Seven, put seven cubes right here on your table. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And if you don't have these cubes available, you can use anything else in your house that you have. Okay. Seven minus four equals, so I need to take away four 
cubes. One, two, three, four. And parents, if you are helping, what I'll usually do in class is tell them to hand me four. So they have the seven and say, okay, put four into my hand and have them count it out loud. You put it behind your back and then they can see how much is left. Some can do it independently, but if you need some help, that is how I work it. Okay, so now how many do we have left on the table? We have three. So you put that number in here and then we write or we say our equation is seven minus four equals three. Okay, next one is a little bigger. Don't let it confuse you. Here we are. It says nine minus seven equals, and we have to find out. So the first number, what is the first number? Nine, I need to see nine cubes on the table in front of you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, nine cubes out on the table and I have to find out how many I'm taking away. How do I find that out? We have nine and you need to take away seven. Okay, so put seven into your other hand or into the adult's hand who's helping you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's it, seven. Okay, I took away seven and now I have to look how many are left. Okay, so don't think about these ones in your hand. Those are gone. How many are left on the table? One, two. Put a two in here. All right, next problem. 10 minus two equals. 10 minus two equals, so how many do we have to put on the table? 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, you need to start with 10. And how many are we taking away? What does our equation say? You need to take two away. Let's put it in your other hand. One, two are gone. They have been taken away. You can put them back into your lid. We don't need them anymore. How many do you have left on the table? Count them and drag them away to help. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The answer is eight. And I don't know where I put my pen. Up oh, here it is. Okay. So you put an eight down here and we say 10 minus two equals eight. All right, we ready? Next problem, what's it say? Read this for me. Five minus four equals. Okay, five minus four equals. 
So we need to put five on the table because that's our first number. One, two, three, four, five. And I need to take away how many? Four. One, two, three, four. Okay, those are gone. We're not looking at them anymore. How many are left? One. Put a big old one right in here. All right, and pause me whenever you need to. But next problem, nine minus three equals. Nine minus three equals. So I need to put nine blocks on my table. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Minus three, I need to take three away. Ready? One, two, three. Put them in your box, you don't need them anymore. Bye bye. And we have to count how many are left on the table. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six. So you need to put a six right here. And we say nine minus three equals six. Okay, so I want you to do this side all by yourself with an adult's help if you need. But remember, that first number is the one that you put on the table. So this is eight minus one equals, we have to find out. So you need to put eight down first, okay? And you can go ahead and do the rest of those problems by yourself. Stay patient, don't get frustrated, okay? No frustration allowed. And as always, if you need help, please, please call me or text me and we can video one-on-one, -on -one, okay? Sound good? You got it.